What is up guys, I'm Daddy and my friend and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Mr. 891 himself. And if you don't know who Mr. 891 is and who I'm referring to, that's this guy, the Ditto Nut or Kecleon, placeholder, image, whatever you wanna call this guy. The long, short of it, he appeared in the wild in Pokemon Go. I'm gonna get over that in a second. But let's just start at the beginning because I did a short video on this a couple of days ago when this first popped up and I admittedly write it off. I was like, yo, this is just a placeholder. If it is a Pokemon, it looks trash, it's whack. And I wrote it off. And I, I have to come back and expound on my thoughts on why I wrote it off. And at the same time, give you guys the new information on this Ditto Nut or Mr. 891 Pokemon. Now, again, when we first found out about this Pokemon, we found out from a data miner named Charles. If you don't know who Charles is, Charles is a Pokemon Go data miner or, you know, guy that checks the network traffic for Pokemon Go and that network traffic is basically the data moving into the game. He found these brand new icons, or at least he thought it was icons when he first seen them. They were labeled under Calculeon as era images and had the tag number 891 with them. Now, if you don't know and you don't play Pokemon Go, you might not know that Calculeon from the third generation of Pokemon is not in the game currently. And that is because the way Niantic does select like a few Pokemon from the generation and have like special rollouts for them. We did see this with Spinda coming out only available through quests that you have to get out in the world and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I like when they do certain little events for certain Pokemon just to kind of spice things up. They have the low end Pokemon, some of them that you could only get specifically in raids again to kind of spice things up. So you're not just finding a low end Raichu in a wild or a low end Marowak in a wild. It's a cool way to keep the gameplay free and stuff like that. So Kecleon, long and short of it, has yet to be put in the game. So when we seen this initially, we thought this was just a placeholder or another placeholder for potentially Kecleon, especially because of the appearance of this Pokemon. Look at it. It looks like a ditto sprite with a, you know, maintenance symbol above it. And to be honest, that's exactly why I wrote it off. It looks kind of quote unquote trash. It looks trash in this images. And I immediately wrote it off and basically said this has to be a placeholder. And that is because kind of I got my dreams quote unquote of that special Pokemon that that Pokemon that we were gonna get from let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee and bring into Pokemon go as a special event I'm thinking that it's gonna be this you know earth stopping next level Pokemon especially after what we've been getting in the seventh generation the seventh generation of Pokemon the designs has been literally incredible uh, yes we got some whack ones but ending it off at 807 with zero aura look at at him it just looks incredible and to be honest it just it just it was a step forward with something like zero aura i was like yo the next thing is gonna be hopping zero aura and seeing this i was a hundred percent taken back and a hundred percent and kind of like this belief i was just like this cannot be the pokemon it has to be a placeholder so as more time went on charles took it upon himself and showed the 3d model of this quote-unquote placeholder mr 891 the 3d model of it live in side of the game on stream and a lot of people were like okay this has to be a new pokemon somehow some reason niantic thought it was safe even though they know the game gets data mined they thought it was safe to throw this into the game now it would be kind of weird if this wasn't the let's go pikachu and let's go eevee pokemon that we're gonna get i would say that it's safe to say that this is gonna be that pokemon due to the fact that we knew that pokemon from the initial announcement trailers for the let's go games that we were gonna get get a Pokemon that from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee that we're gonna bring into Pokemon Go and that this will kind of make sense that this is the Pokemon that we're gonna get if Pokemon Go is, you know, a months away from the Let's Go Pikachu game, like literally two months away, that we've seen that Pokemon being put in the games. Now they could be put in for multiple reasons, for testing, for, you know, whoever the fuck, you know, who knows the real reason why they're putting it in the game. So we wrote it off like, hey, they put it in the game real early. They're probably testing it in one not in this is the pokemon we're spoiled on it the number of it it's 891 it was never you know guaranteed that we were gonna get 808 into the pokedex into pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee they said it was gonna be a brand new 
Pokemon, and this would be a brand new Pokemon, but we never, they never, you know, 100% confirmed that it was gonna be the Pokemon after Zero or if that made any sense. So, moving on to today. Now, I'm gonna go to Serby.net because they have the best write up of this about what's going on. And again, let's just jump into it. It says, after the reveal in the network traffic, when Pokemon Go Community Day ended in the Asia Pacific region, many Pokemon turned into this brand new Pokemon that is shown. However, when captured, it immediately turned into Ditto and sometimes Trickorita and sometimes other Pokemon. At present, it's unclear why this is happening and they said that we're gonna provide more detail as it comes and they did. We got an update that Niantic, head of marketing for Pokemon Go in Japan, has tweeted about this Pokemon, indicating that this is a tease and not a mistake. Now, again, this is Joe Merrick's words. This is from Cerebi.net. While I 100% back Cerebi.net, I always get my information from there. I am not discrediting Joe or the site at all by saying this, but basically kind of putting words in the marketer's mouth because he kind of didn't say that this was quote unquote a tease. Basically, he just tweeted the image of that Pokemon, kind of acknowledging that this is actually going on. Now, just to step back from this whole issue, we do know Niantic kind of makes mistakes a lot of the time when it comes to rolling out new events and stuff like that. We've seen this a couple of months ago, I want to say a couple of months ago, probably a month ago, when the Wingle event, Shiny Wingle event happened in Pokemon Go, I believe a day earlier or two days earlier, we saw the Shiny Wingle get released wild to the public before the event started. And Niantic quickly shut that down. So it was literally available for like 40 minutes to an hour, making that officially now the rarest shiny Pokemon that you can have in the game. That Pokemon, that shiny Wingle with that timestamp of, you know, being before it actually got released, which is pretty cool. Now, so when we see a mistake happen again, like something like this, and I'm gonna quote unquote a mistake because again, this could 100% be a tease, especially again with like what Joe said, that they're tweeting about this. Pokemon Go Japan's marketing is tweeting about this. And I think he's tweeting about this because it's trending. Everybody and anyone is talking about it, is making a video on it. I'm pretty sure you can scroll down your YouTube timeline, look at the recommended videos. You're gonna see tons of people covering this. And that's because again, the reaction of this being live in the game is phenomenal. Check out Trainer Tips Nick video on this. He goes nuts when he actually sees this in person. He's like literally running around the park during the Chikorita Pokemon Go Community Day and RIP, sorry Chikorita, well not RIP, but sorry Chikorita, shiny Chikorita. You kind of lost your thunder today because everybody who was anybody was gonna make a video on shiny Chikorita is now switching their focus on this new 891 Pokemon because again, it's huge that we're getting this brand new Pokemon in Pokemon Go as a first reveal before it's actually been put in a mainline RPG game. So again, indicating that it's a tease and not a mistake. This is Joe Merrick's words. I do think, again, until one or two things happen, until Niantic formally comes out and apologizes for this mistake, then it's it's on the border. Until Niantic comes out and states what's actually going on, saying that it was a tease, I kind of still won't believe them, but at the same time, we gotta take their word for it. And until the Pokemon company or Nintendo releases a trailer showing this Pokemon in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee being transferred to the Pokemon Go game and being shown inside the Pokemon Go game until that trailer is released as of right now is still up in the air. Mr. Three question marks, Mr. 891. And again, kind of confirming the fact that this is a quote unquote mistake. When this Pokemon was put into the game, Charles said it was labeled under Kecleon. And then this Pokemon changed into Kecleon into spawns and then started disappearing. Do I think that instead of this Ditto Nut 891 Pokemon in the game appearing after Pokemon Go Community Day. Do I think that Pokemon that was supposed to spawn was indeed supposed to be Kecleon and Kecleon was supposed to then be released into the world this day, like this. Like, you know, released into the world, you catch it, then it magically turns into Ditto, with you going crazy trying to find the you know, correct Kecleon because Ditto is turning to Kecleon or whatever the case may be and is making it spawn crazy all over the map. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that was intentionally the idea of what was supposed to go down. That actually isn't happening though, because of the fact that this guy's in the game, Mr. 891. For whatever reason, Miss 891 started spawning instead of Ditto. And of course, because 
Mr. A91 wasn't supposed to be in the game, none of them actually stood as the intended Pokemon. They all transformed into Ditto, even the Kecleon. So I think what we went wrong there is that there was a bug that went off with this brand new event. Instead of the Pokemon staying as Kecleon, the, it just kept transforming into Ditto. And instead of the Pokemon being rolled out as Kecleon, it was rolled out as Mr. 891. Now, again, this is just my theory. There has been no further updates. It has started spawning for people out here in Europe as well. I am in Switzerland. As recording this, I believe Pokemon Go Community Day is going on in America. And it was out here in Europe too. Now, I actually seen it. Here's a video of it. I don't have any Pokeballs at all. I'm in the area that doesn't have gyms or Pokestops, so I wasn't able to capture this Pokemon to see if it was going to turn into Ditto, if I was going to be able to keep it. I haven't seen any Kecleon, and there is a speculation going on that you needed your game to be updated in order to make it turn into Kecleon. And this is coming from a Nick Trainer Tips. He wanted everyone to kind of give, to let him know what, what update did you have so he could kind of see and do his research as well. And I 100%, everyone please participate and let's try to find out exactly what is going on. Again, if you want to see best images again in the game, go to Pokemon Master Holly. Her page, she has images of this new Mr. 891 AR photos. She takes the best AR photos in the game. I'm going to have her Twitter and her YouTube link in the description below, along with the video of Nick and Trainer Tips linked in it below because again, their video and their reaction to what's going on in the game. Again, it's like, whoa, like it, it's definitely something that you might want to check out and see as of right now it's still up in the air and i want to hear from you guys let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on mr ditto nut mr 891 i think it's a pokemon i think it's a pokemon to be honest with you i think it's number 891 in the pokedex which it will be amazing because that's what 84 new pokemon before it at least confirmed that we have 84 85 pokemon for pokemon gen 8 and that is pretty cool i do think we're gonna get mythical in legendary Pokemon behind that. So that's not to say that the Pokedex is going to end there. But I do think that this being a Pokemon is going to have some kind of significance with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. A lot of people were saying, hey, it's probably an evolution of Ditto as it does kind of share similarities with Ditto. We know Pokemon share similarities of each other, but not an evolution. That's going a long way since the first generation with Nidoran and Nidorino being sex difference. But I don't think it's you know in any relations to ditto even though it does look like ditto looks like a grayed out ditto i don't think this is going to be an evolution of ditto one i wouldn't be surprised to be honest if we did get an evolution of ditto but i don't think that's going to be the pokemon that is going to be teasing for let's go into the pokemon go games now i don't know i could be wrong let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below like always let's have this open conversation this information is unknown and it's a perfect discussion for a discussion video so let's have it in the comment section below as you guys know i answer all comments i'm gonna see you guys on the next one and as soon as we get more details i will be doing a video to inform you guys especially if we get a trailer or if we get a you know basically a notification update or something from niantic explaining what the fuck is going on so peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one like always guys i'm daddy i'm Fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video peace I'm gonna see you guys on the next one